and welcome to Planet Mail, where we cover people, places, things, and ideas. And welcome to the quick, fast book review. Always quick and fast, but never in a hurry. This week's review is by Jillian Flynn, and it's 400 plus pages of twisty, turny, suspense filled entertainment. It's called Gone Girl. Or is it called Gone Girl? Or Gone Girl. Okay, so apparently, true thoughts and feelings between a man and his wife can sometimes stretch beyond the complex, the twisted, and downright selfish and can sometimes totally be based on skewed realities. Well, that is until it is discovered by one spouse that the messed up way of thinking was actually better, saner, more sane than reality. Yeah, that's pretty much what transpires in Gone Girl, which I think is filled with lessons. I'm not sure if Jillian Flynn meant to make these points or not, but here's what I gathered from the book. No one is all good. That's evident. No one is all bad. This definitely applies to Nick and Amy Dunn, significant others who eventually become spouses and encounter layers of story beneath the surface. And those layers lead to some less than perfect actions toward the other spouse, Amy toward Nick, Nick toward Amy, including affairs and revenge. And you know, another point, sometimes revenge is best baked over the course of years, carefully calculated and carried out. There's plenty of revenge in this book, but even the best baked revenge plot has flaws. That's another lesson I gathered from the book, but through the twists and turns, you may not get a handle right away on who is getting revenge on whom. A doozy this book is. Mm -hmm. Now, all of these ideas, themes, and more are intricately woven, threaded, loomed, spun into a captivating tale of a marriage gone disastrously and dysfunctionally wrong, girl. Though it is clearly fiction, this book has me thinking twice about getting hitched. <laughs> However, through the brow furrowing, mouth gasping, oh no she didn't, muttering I experienced during this dark humorous read, there is the comfort, I imagine, of knowing your spouse like clockwork, for better or worse. Ooh, for worse, till death parts you, or until you just stop pretending. And our main characters, Nick Dunn and Amy Elliott Dunn, managed to get that part right. This book is tops for its witty humor in unexpected places, for its skillful wordplay and ability to draw readers, well, at least to draw me, into the story. That's what I think about Gone Girl. 400 plus pages of suspense and surprise down to the very last page. Almost. I didn't quite like the ending. But it's another highly recommended read. <laughs> Thanks for watching the quick fast book review on Planet Now, where we cover people, places, things, and ideas. I'm Liz, and until next time, to lose.